again. Thanks for joining me. Yes, believe it or not, that was me. 285 pounds at my heaviest weight. I can't tell you at that time of my life the feelings that I felt after having my children, becoming a stay-at-home mom, kind of lost my identity in a way. Um, I felt unmotivated, loss of energy, just tired all the time. I found myself wanting to stay within the house, not really going out and engaging with other people. Um, I had always been an outgoing person. Growing up, I played sports, I danced. As a young adult, I loved going to work out, being in the gym, doing active things. Um, so as you can imagine, you know, getting to this point really shook my self-confidence. I had never been that heavy in my whole life. I felt ugly and ashamed and uh, quite frankly stuck. I felt almost stuck like I was in somebody else's body. I, me, my spirit, and everything else was just stuck in that other person's body. I really came to the conclusion that I needed to make a change when something drastic really happened. Um, not only did I want to be healthy for my children and set a good example and be there for them, but also for myself. I needed to get back to me. I needed to feel like me again. We also had my father in October of 2014 suffer from a very bad illness. He went into a toxic shock, um, had cancer, diabetes, you know, really hadn't taken care of himself and his body kind of gave in on him. We almost lost him. He was in a coma for quite some time and that really just shook me to the core. So this was my breaking point. It made me realize that I just really wanted to be healthy. I wanted to be alive. I wanted to be there for my kids. I couldn't imagine leaving them at such a young age. My next steps were to kind of talk myself through what was going to happen. I, I felt like the task at hand was just so difficult. Being at that heavy weight, I didn't know if I could get back into exercising, what my first steps would be. I knew it would be a really hard job, but I'm worth it. And so are all of you. The most important thing I can tell you is to believe in yourself because putting yourself first and loving yourself is the best thing you can do for you and for everybody around you. So this is gonna be a huge generalization of the steps that I took into getting to where I am now, but I wanted to give you a few of my best tips. Like I said, number one mindset. Mindset's gonna be your number one ally. If you don't have things right up in your mind, you're not gonna be able to pull forward with any plan that you may have. You need to make sure you tell yourself every day you're enough, you can do it, you're strong, and keep your goals at the forefront. If you have to physically write them down and read them back to yourself every day, do that. Something about taking that pen in your hand and writing it all out really, really helps. Next thing I would say is setting small attainable goals. Don't try to change everything all at once. It will be a little too overwhelming for you. Set those little goals like, I'm gonna drink more water today. I'm gonna cut out some processed food. I'm gonna try to cut back on sugar. Things like that, make a weekly goal. Stick to that, something you can promise to yourself and follow through on. Next, I'd say get some movement in. Even if you don't feel comfortable with going to a gym or jo joining a yoga studio or classes, I, I didn't at first. Even though I had experience in all of that in my life, I really felt that self-conscious that I didn't want to even go into places like that that I used to feel so comfortable. So whether it's going outside for a walk with your dog, your, your, your children, your spouse, um, having a dance party, I do that a lot, in the car, in the kitchen, um, whatever sparks joy within you, do that because that will help carry you through your day. At this point, uh, people around me, my support system, friends, family, they started noticing the change in me. I was told that I seemed like I was myself again. I was happy and glowing and energetic and just a happy person to be around again, which made me beyond ecstatic to hear. People started then asking me for help. Um, how did you do this? What are some tips? What are some tricks? So I would share my knowledge of the things that I did and the things that I learned along the way. And this just lit a fire under me. 
Um, I couldn't get enough of it. I started studying nutrition, um, how the body works and all the systems together, and how you can live a holistic, healthy life and still have fun doing it. It doesn't have to be boring. You don't have to eat the same things every single day. Um, but like I was saying before, just doing things you love, starting with small goals, eating healthier, moving, those, all of those things help. So here I am today talking to all of you and I can't believe the audience that you guys have provided for me. I hope that we just continue to grow together. Please continue to like, share, watch my videos, check me out on Instagram and Facebook, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and I promise to help you walk through this journey. Um, I will be going into more depth of things that I feel work for most people, give you some fun vlog stuff. It won't always be this heavy. Um, it'll be more fun, not so emotional, but I really wanted to give you a glimpse into what I've been through so you know that I understand how you feel. That girl you saw at the beginning of the video, I understand those feelings. If you're feeling that way now, I sympathize, but really just dig deep, tell yourself you've got this, and you can make the change. Only you can do that for yourself. Fit fam, I like that. We have to still come up with a name for you guys. I love all my juggies, believe me. I appreciate all my juggies, and you can still be juggies. Please still be juggies for my Jesse. Um, but uh, we need a name for our family as well. We can mesh the two. Um, so comment below, give me some ideas of what we can call ourselves, but Fit Fam keeps coming back to mind. Um, anyway, if you have any better ideas, that would be great. And I want to thank everybody who gave me all the suggestions for my closing of the videos. And I think I found my favorite. I think I'm going to close off the videos by telling you to take care because that's what I really want you to do. Take care of you. Do you be the best you that you can be. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.